So what have we learnt from all this? We've seen that really we can't tell very much about whether there's life in space. Every argument that goes one way, we can find an argument that goes the other way. It's very complicated. So what do you think, Brian, after all we've discussed? What's your gut feeling? Well, my gut feeling is the universe is so big. We exist. I don't believe in being special. I think there must be things like us out there. It's just inevitable. I guess I used to think that, but I, the argument about the complexity of life is a pretty strong one, so I'm really not sure about this at all. But how are we ever going to find out? Well, I certainly believe, I, I, I certainly don't think we know, so what we need to obviously go out and do is to check, to go out and look for life. That's the only way we will know. Unless, of course, a fleet of UFOs comes over and lands on Parliament House here in Canberra tomorrow, in which case we'll know for sure. Uh, yes, but I, that hasn't happened yet, so I think we need to go out and, you know, look at other planets, look for signals, and, you know, perhaps we'll find something. We won't know unless we try. Like so much of science, this is very low chance of success, enormous payoff if it succeeds. It could revolutionize our entire understanding of the universe, small chance of success. Yeah, so if we do go through and let's say we pick up a SETI signal, what do we do then? Because we'll know we're not alone. What do we do next? That's the question. You don't think we're going to go out and uh, try to say hello? Well, any aliens that have a signal powerful enough for us to pick us up are going to be a lot smarter than us. I'd be very, very cautious about doing that. Yes, and even, even if uh, we did feel like we might be the superior species, I'm not sure if we would be a very good guest anyway, given what we do here on Earth. Such a good role model, human race.